wow we crooked as can be this morning i got a little more elevated on my angle but let's see what did i do oh i see exactly what happened thank you guys for always being my camera crew always being my camera crew I'm not too shabby why is it all funky and different this is when you know when you have this whole like self-quarantine business there we go then that also means that you have garage playtime in your house every single day so i still feel like there's something funky but i'm not gonna worry about it that's better no it's not <laughs> Well, good morning, and I hope everybody has their water this morning. I hope everybody is drinking plenty of water. Um, you know, when we're inside like this, when we uh, don't necessarily do all the super sweaty stuff outside, we sometimes forget to drink water. So I encourage you all to spend today thinking about that. Um, also, you know, a lot of people, this is kind of a bit of a vacation. I know that sounds horrible and wrong to say, but we are getting to be in our houses more and we're getting to have more relaxing time because our schedules have calmed down. And I don't know about you, but for me, it, it's a really freeing feeling. However, <clears throat> along with said freeing feeling comes with the idea that, oh, you know, do what I want on vacation. And there's people like upping alcohol consumption. There's people sitting on the couch a lot more, doing nothing. So I am proud of you this morning for being here and um, encourage you to drink some water. So, mm -hmm. that's delicious. Let's talk about where we're going today. Today is a fit workout. So, so far, if you've been following along, first of all, you don't have to be, um, that you'll be able to figure all this out without following along. Then you've seen two different types of workouts that I offer. You've seen the HIT, the high intensity interval training. Remember, intensity is not impact. Gosh, if I could teach everybody that, I would be so happy. Um, so you can even do intensity sitting down in a chair. It's incredible. So we do high intensity interval training. We're kind of going up and down throughout and working just on cardiovascular fitness. Um, we have a flow workout, which is for all the other components of fitness. So strength, balance, flexibility. Balance is an unofficial component, but I think it should be. Um, all that stuff. And this workout puts them both together. So you're going to see some cardio, kind of that up and down thing again, right? Something a little bit easier, a little bit harder. So cardio, um, strength, balance, flexibility. Cardio, strength, balance, flexibility. We go through it three times. Sound like a plan? So three times through little chunks. So you can wrap your head around that a little bit. As always, we're going to end with a um, super simple and short meditation to get us in a really good mental space after our physical space. So this will be the longest workout that we do. It's still under 30 minutes. Isn't that beautiful? If you have um, some kind of watch that tracks your fitness, I encourage you to start it now. I'm gonna get our music going and we're going to start this party. That seems really quiet, but it works. And again, you'll notice like I'm barefoot today, but you don't have to be, you can have shoes on. I like to do as much as I can barefoot. So on these, anything that's like a fit or a flow, I'm barefoot. Work into it. You might decide to have shoes on. Whatever. Roll through the feet. Roll. Roll. Seated. Same thing. We just roll and roll. Good. Let the arms just move just like kind of like you're running or walking. Roll through. Wake up the bottoms of the feet. So again, if you're going to try this barefoot like me, this is so important. For four, three, to stop the feet. We reach up and down. Just warming up for this track or this song. Reach down. Up and down. Come back to center, arms up, release. Back to the roll through. Roll through. Now hands to the chest, let's take it a rotation. Inhale, 
and exhale. A few more. One more each way. At the center, back to the roll through. Just start with the roll through. Now let's start to bring our heart rate up. March it out. March. March. From here, reach and pull. So we reach, pull. Now this is going to turn into our very first, easier, our lower intensity movement. Just march. So marching with a reach and pull is our first lower intensity movement. Now if you remember, we have three times each. Lower intensity, higher intensity, because here's how I like to break it down. First round through is practice. Yes? Second time through is perfect it, like get out all the kinks. Third time through is performance. You know it, you can go all out. Ready for our first time through round one of fit. First time through. It's a march with the reach and pull. This is the easy part, let's go. We reach and pull. Perfect. Reach forward, pull back. Last time. March, march. Take it to a wide march. Now seated, you're doing the same thing, wide march. Now when I say go, you're gonna take it to fast feet. Seated, standing. Ready? You're gonna hold it here for about 30 seconds. Fast feet, three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds of fast feet. Fast feet. Now you can go as fast as you want. Again, seated one here, right? Optional impact, but this is where I want your heart rate to start going up. Maybe get a little sweaty. You got it. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. March, march. All right, we're gonna do that one again. Remember, three times through, an easier and a harder one. Just march. Let's add that reach and pull. Here we go. Reach, pull. Reach and pull. Seated, same thing here. Reach. Just march. March wide. Fast feet for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. So you're perfecting. You're getting out all the kinks. You're deciding where you want to be. And maybe you do some standing, some seated. You decide. Can you go a little faster? Let's start to make that part work. Yeah? Getting that physical health under control. Breathe, breathe. 10 seconds left. Come on. You got it. Three, two, one, and march. Last time. Last time, we move to our first flow. One of these days, I'm gonna get this light to where it works a little better. Oh well. I can keep it on all the time. We're gonna get an actual light. Y'all are gonna be like so sweet to be hearing about the stupid light. Ready, reach and pull. Reach and pull. Only one more. Wide march. Last time. 30 seconds. Ready, steady, go. There you go. Fast feet, standing or seated. Someone sent me a message last night and they're like, are your workouts appropriate for people who like to do sit and be fit? I was like, bring it. <laughs> you are the one that I need to find because everybody can do these workouts. Whether you like to run fast or you need to be in a chair or somewhere in between. Let's go for five, four, three, two, 
and one. Whew. Easy march, beautiful. All right guys, moving into a little yoga portion. Legs step wide, inhale, exhale, dive down. Nice and slow, inhale and exhale at your own pace. Now if you're seated, inhale and exhale, legs just get a little wider, right? Good, breathing in and breathing out. You guys, focus on big breaths. Big breaths, moving the air in and out of our lungs. How good it feels to breathe. Awesome. Let's we'll stop about halfway. Turn and turn. Just do a half of my toes. Then the knee. Reach long. Perfect. Now if you want, you can sit. One leg is bent, one is straight, arms are out. Sit taller. Sit taller. Beautiful. If you're standing, one toe is bent, or one toe. One leg is bent, one leg is straight, arms are long. Warrior two. Awesome. Relax the shoulders and just hold. Breathe and breathe. This is where straight comes into play. Can you heel toe the back foot a little bit more? Can you drop a little lower if you're seated? Can you shift a little bit toward the edge of your seat, right, so that you're sinking down into your legs? Arms reach long. Keep them going. This is called an isometric hold, my friends. It's a lot for those arms and you're rocking it. A lot for those legs and you're rocking it. Four, three, two, and one, now the arms can release, come to center. We inhale, this time we exhale, a little moon flower. If you were with me yesterday, you've seen this. Reach and pull. Up and down. Squeeze. Take your time. Now how low can you go? Go a little bit lower. Up and drop it down. Perfect. Get low. Reach and pull. One more. Reach and pull. Now, turn one toe away from you. One toe points to the front or front of your mat. If you're on a mat or on the floor, you guys are smart. You know how to do it. Reach the arms out. Now, if your arms have been up and down, this is going to get a little challenging. I challenge you to let it get challenging. This is how we work strength, without all those weights and movements, without all that stuff you see back there, right? Sitting down, reach you on. Now I do, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a group fitness instructor, I do offer you know, virtual personal training, so if you need help learning how to use your equipment at home, please reach out to me, because I would love to help you with that. So if you're like, look, I have all this stuff at my house, and I wanna use it right now, but I don't know where to begin, I'm not gonna be doing equipment in these workouts because my whole concept here, my whole idea is accessibility. Um, as much as I can make it accessible. I'll be honest, my cueing for I'm visually impaired, I, that's a place where I, I need to work, right? I need to work on that a little bit. Um, but I can help everyone with more than this. So if you need more, please reach out to me. Beautiful. Can you go a little bit lower into this? I will say I've done visually impaired cueing before, but in person. So this is a place that I'm growing, and I think we're all learning a lot about this new tech, teaching over tech. Not new, but we're doing it more than we used to do. Beautiful, oh, how are those arms? Let them release, bring the arms, legs in a little bit. They're just wide, they're just outside the hips. Inhale, this time as we exhale, we just pull the energy down and through, hands come into a prayer position, releasing right about at our Look, I was gonna say crotch. It's our crotch, let's be honest. <laughs> we bring our hands together up overhead. We pull them all the way down across in front of our body and push down into the floor. Inhale, pressing together and exhale. So it's not a gentle press. If you're seated, it's just the arms. We press together, press through, and then release, push to the floor. Inhale and exhale, good, continue, pull. Seated. We're going up and down. Now standing, I want you now to go low and stay low. 
Continue the arms. So you're holding like an isometric hold squat here. Press the knees backward. Big toes stay on the ground. Pinky toes stay on the ground. Push equally through. Stopping about halfway at our chest. Walk or hop the feet together. Woo! Beautiful. Shake it out. Shake it out. Round two. Round two. So remember, we've got a lower energy move and a higher energy move. First move, I'm going sideways to show you. Back and in. Back and in. This is our lower energy move. This is our lower energy move. That's it. Back and in. Back and in. Now, just because it's lower energy doesn't mean we can't pick it up. So let's tap back. Tap back. But this isn't where I want you to spend all of your energy. It's not. Let me show you where I want to spend your energy. Bring the feet in. One leg at a time. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. What's your option? Full jack. Out, in. That's the pace. I want you to land wide. Yes, seated. Out, in. So here's your options. And let me tell you, if you're standing and you're like, this isn't enough for me, here's what you can do. If you're somewhere in between the seated jack and the standing full jack, here's what you can do. Speed it up. Boom. 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 You can also do your full jacks at this tempo. Seated. Back to a tap behind. Tap behind and in. Start slow. Let yourself recover. Tap behind. Tap. This is our rest. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Now I want you to pick where you're most comfortable. I'm just going to say jacks. This is, we already practiced. This is perfect where you want to be, okay? Now speed up these tap backs. Four, three, two, jumping jack, start slow. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. For four, in, three, two, you have so many options. Ready? Go for it, go for it. Right? Look at all these options. I'm showing you where you can go. Three, two, one. Tap back. Slow. Slow. You only get one more round like that. How you feeling? Now speed it up. Tap back. Tap. 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 Slow jacks. Slow jacks. Now if you have a chair out, it's always kind of nice to do this full jack in a chair if you need a little bit more core work. So if you want to make it strength and cardio, you can. Ready? Speed it up. Go. 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 That's it. I love this seated version. You've got four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out. You guys are halfway through. Whew. Shake it out. Grab some water if you have it. If you kept it close by, grab some water. Beautiful. All right. All right, guys, we're going second half of round three. Two, my bad, two. You only have three rounds, right? Back into a little bit of that yoga, or yogurt, as my family sometimes calls it. When you're ready, tap the foot back. Here's the front foot reach. Your standing option, heel is down. So both ways, we're getting a stretch to the calf and Achilles, right? Standing, we're here. Seated, it just kind of tucks behind us. You can't really see what's going on. I'm gonna go sideways, so you're here. Seated, does that make sense? Perfect. Awesome job, team. Now once we're here in Warrior One, that's what pose this is, your arms are gonna pull back. Let the chest lift. Now you're sliding into a bit of a back bend. Let me talk to you about how to make this healthy for the back. Scoop in the belly button. Pull it tight, just kind of little engagement. And then your back will start to lengthen and relax. So, up. 
for some reason we have a little connection. There we go. Back five. Reach up, reach up. Move the chest. All right. When you're ready, we're going to reach forward. I have options standing. You can try, let's get back to your seat, to just lift that back leg off the ground. When you're seated, your option is to try to lift the leg forward. Just engagement of the core. Right? So standing, it's more of a warrior three. Seated, you have that knee going forward. And four, three, two, we release. Good. We'll step back with our opposite leg. Here's so using that little angle of the back foot. Leg is in a split stance. Reaching up to the sky. Perfect. So your body is angled forward, but your legs are split apart. Like one's forward, one's backward. And your chest and rib cage are turned toward your front leg. A lot of times you'll hear people say, when we're seated option is here, right? Saying, like shift your hip to face the front. We don't really want to do that. That's not great for the knee and ankle. Instead, think about the rib cage. That's really good for the core. From here, scoop up the belly, zip up the belly, pull the arms back and down. Good. Now, when you want to think about the belly zip, um, I also do a special class. It's just for like postpartum women, anywhere from four weeks to like 40 years postpartum, anyone with core dysfunction, peeing their pants, back is hurting, lower belly pooch. And we talk about zipping up, imagining um, your pubic bone, zipping up from your pubic bone to your belly button. If that was a zipper of pants, what would that feel like? So if that helps anybody like do that, that visualization helps, go for it. Lift the chest. Perfect. Now when you're ready, try out that warrior three balance. Just see where you are. It's okay to be here, right? I'm trying, I'm trying. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay to fall over the place. The idea is that you try. I say like the first time you practice balance and you never fall, well that means it's time to um, do something a little bit more difficult. Holding here for four. Three, two, and one. Really stepping our feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna sit back as if we were sitting in a chair. Now, if you're in the chair, just shift your weight forward so you're pushing into your heels. Perfect. First thing we do: hands are at heart center in a prayer position, alternating heel lifts, lift and lower. If you were with me yesterday, you did this. You did this. Now, if you want, can you lift both? Lift both and drop. Lift and drop. Seated, lift, drop. Perfect. Inhale and exhale. Just breathe on your own. Don't worry about matching it. Two and one. Good. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit through. What does that look like? Seated? I'll show you. Arm circles. Inhale and exhale. So either standing and sitting or just doing the arms, right? Inhale and exhale. Now everybody stay low. If you're sitting in the chair, you're sitting forward again. Pressing in, go as low as you're comfortable going. Reach one arm in a big circle all the way around. Other arm, all the way around. Perfect, keep going all the way around. Working on range of motion in the arm, in the shoulder, and flexibility in the foot, in the, I'm sorry, not flexibility, straight in the legs. Range of motion is flexibility. And hold. Good, shake it out. Whew. Team, last round. Last round. Let me show you your easy move first. Lots of options. Forward and back. That's it. You're like, oh my gosh, yeah, this is super easy, All right? Forward and back. Seated, one, two, three, four. You're just marching. Seated, just marching. Now, this is the practice round, so this is when we get it down. Here's your option hop forward and walk it back. Hop forward. Walking back. And yes, that's your easy move. So if it doesn't feel easy, or not easy, moderate, right? It's not going to feel super easy. If it doesn't feel moderate to hop forward and walk back, then just walk forward and back. And what you'll notice is sometimes 
My hard move is my moderate move on another day. That's because I want you to use your mind and decide what moderate needs to feel like. Next move, step touch. Now this is gonna be our more challenging move. Okay, because here's why. You see that? And I want you to do it. Tap, tap. So if that means you need to sit in a chair and ski, sit in a chair and ski. It's here or here, right? Four, three, two, hop forward. Hop forward, walk back. And again, I want that walk back to be easy because this is moderate. This is not a hard one. One more. Ready? Straight into that ski. Push. There you go. Four, three, two, one. Now march for a second. Last time through. Last time through. This is your last chance for cardio today. Decide what you need. I'm gonna come with my seated people first. Hop forward, walk back. Tap wide, walk it all back in. Walk it all back in. Now notice this, I'm gonna show you something from the side when it comes to my standing people. When I hop forward, watch how I land, watch this. Soft knees, yeah? So we don't wanna land, we don't wanna do that number. Not great for the joints. Sit down to land. Yeah, it's like we're floating into it. One more. Ski, let's go, boom, boom. What's it look like seated? Here, and everyone's doing this. If you gotta go grab a chair to finish, go grab a chair. Whew. You're all in here, you're not allowed to do is judge yourself and your ability level, because I just want you to sweat. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful shake out. Whew. Oh man, so this last round of flow gets to be all stretching, my friends. All stretching, isn't that great? We're gonna start with a little pigeon stretch and your option is to take it to a balance. So let me show you what it is seated. So if you wanna grab a chair, it's a good time to do that. You're gonna cross the leg over, flatten that foot, right? Stabilize, ankle and hip like to make all these crazy circles, knees do not, they're a hinge joint. Flatten it out and then just shift forward. And you can even be down here. Like, you guys, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Right, I want it to work with your body. Now, if you're like, I just need to do a little bit more strength standing, cross it over, sit down in a chair. So you've got that balance and strength. That's your option, right? And if you're somewhere in between, you're like, well, I want to work on the strength still, but I don't, like, I'm not comfortable bouncing there. Do what we did yesterday, hold on to the back of something, cross it over and hold on. Like, you see my hand, I'm holding on. So balance is not about being perfect. When you're ready, let's switch sides. Switch sides, sit back. Check how much time I got here. Y'all, oh, this is like already 25 minutes. It flies by when you're letting yourself move. And I'll tell you, once these workouts get really comfortable, and especially for those of you that are my Body Positive Workout Program, those workouts get, they get really familiar. Well, I've linked, in that program, I link a whole playlist where I have like fun songs. So you can just turn on that playlist and just watch me and just have a blast. Perfect. If you'd like to have a seat, have a seat either on the floor or in a chair. We're just gonna drop our chin to our chest, rolling up to one side. Exhale and rolling up to the other. Good. Exhale and then we go. If you're watching this one live, um, when we're all in a little bit of isolation, one thing that I've done for you guys is I've offered all of my programming at um, super discounted rates. Super discounted rates. So please take advantage of that. If you cannot find the link, then by all means, let me know. And I will give it to you. I think I'm gonna pin it today to announcements. I should have done that way before. I didn't. Good. Let your head rest to one side. Release. Really reach the arm down. You guys, this is where we hold tension. So a lot of us are going to feel some stretching and some 
you know, maybe a tiny bit of discomfort, but a tolerable discomfort. Switch sides, chin the chest over to the other side. Oh, feels so good to release all of those muscles. Shake it out a little bit, shake those hands up, roll the shoulders back. Ah, oh, friends, get comfortable. So if you're in a chair, maybe scoot back to the back. You know me, I like to do my I'm sitting on the ground, but I'm actually in a chair. Don't you love this little uh, banquette? This is a bench in our, our kitchen, and it's it's kind of stained. You know, we have two kids. I have a, well, my three-month-old shouldn't count. I have a three-month-old and a three-year-old, but... Um, we also have animals, and so it got a little stained and then like a little broken, and I was like, please, let me just think, let this be part of our videos, because it's so nice, like it's the perfect workout chair, <laughs> perfect workout bench. All right, so when you're ready, let yourself sit a little bit taller, and let your eyes close. I have the best, most simple, simple relaxation for you today. It's simple. So one of the things about meditation that a lot of people don't realize is that the really one of the biggest purposes is to get us in our body focusing on something that's not like this external craziness that we're dealing with right now. Um, something that's not outside of us. It's something that's within us. So here's what you're going to do today. It's so easy. You're going to love it. Start to breathe in and out. And then what happens is as soon as you slow down, your mind wants to go somewhere else. You're not going to let it today. As you inhale, I want you to just think about the word relax. R-E-L-A-X. As you exhale, think relax. Inhale, relax. Exhale, relax. Continue inhaling and exhaling. And as other words try to come in and be a part of this, as other words start to enter your mind, just exhale. See them leaving your body. Inhale, relax. Exhale, relax. And it's like you can see that word. You've given it, you know, space. You've given it maybe color, texture, in your mind's eye. Whatever seeing the word relax means to you. Maybe it's got texture where you can touch it and feel it and feel the word relax. It's not very relaxing music. I got you though, don't worry. Good, just keep breathing. And then what happens sometimes is that our mind wants to go somewhere else. That's probably exactly what happened when that music came on. I just want you to inhale and exhale, relax. So if your mind starts to wander, you just come back. Just come back and think, relax, relax. And allow yourself to sit in this space for as long as you need to. There's no reason to stop unless you have somewhere to be, and I promise you 30 minutes. You probably don't have anywhere to be unless it's a meeting from home. <laughs> or you're still working. I mean, we are healthcare workers, you guys. Like all like love to you. But here's the power in this simple, simple meditation is that it is so portable. It's so portable. You don't, I mean, if you want to get a fancy app for meditation, that's fine. But little things like this are much more accessible. You can go and lock yourself in the bathroom for five minutes and do this meditation. You can um, find a quiet space and do this meditation. Um, this meditation will take that feeling of fear and anxiety and just squash it. Because it's not the fear and anxiety that decreases our ability to be healthy. It's the perception 
of fear. It's the perception of anxiety. It's what we deem that it's doing to our body. But today you have every intention and every purpose to relax. So feel free, I'm about to log off, but stay here as long as you need to stay here to truly feel relaxed. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning. We're going to be doing another cardio workout and then we'll end our week with yoga. So I will see you back here. Please come and join me live. And if you haven't checked out the rest of this week's videos, go on and do that too. Have a wonderful day.